good morning everyone just popping on to do my uh, quick little paragraph share before I go do a workout I just asked spirit to guide us to the paragraph that is most um, relevant that we need to hear in the moment in order to align us to our heart energy and to align us to our our purpose our love our light our God self so let's see what spirit has to say this top one all right so it actually starts on the page before and what it says I can think back to my first marriage when I experienced great suffering I was unhappy <clears throat> and I felt trapped it was not that my husband was a bad husband but it was something within me I married very young not quite 20 I was happy initially, as a lot of us are, but we change as we grow older. Lucky couples grow together, but we grew apart. Because I didn't seem to be able to fulfill his needs, I would feel very badly about myself. I would pray to God, and particularly Mother Mary, whom I felt very close to. I would pray for her to make me the wife that I should be. I prayed for years to be changed into a good wife and to feel what I was supposed to feel. I was not in love, but I prayed to be in love. I remember thinking I would get a divorce if it wasn't against my Catholic religion. I was afraid of the upheaval it would cause among family members. So, um, yeah, that's a very young perspective of you know, being grown up in a certain way and feeling you have to stay within a box, a certain belief system, a certain paradigm. And that's what that can do you when we don't expand and grow with our thoughts, with our mind, with our energy and with who we are. If we, oops, sorry, <laughs> had a phone call. If we don't expand with our own growth and um, coming to terms to who we are and who we feel in our heart, it will. we will feel trapped. We f will feel like we're in a box. And, and that in itself is a gift because it lets us realize that we're not growing. We're not, we're not taking action on what is within us. We're living by and letting a belief system contain us, contain us in that container. And it's scary to let go of beliefs that we thought were truth, that we thought were real. But that, that is the whole reason that we came into this life with those beliefs, being built into those containers. The reason is for us to expand them. We all came with a certain energy that we have come to expand, a certain purpose to bring light into a subject matter or a belief or a paradigm that no longer serves us nor the world. So through my path and through my journey and through my own um, expansion, growth, courage, strength to move beyond those limiting beliefs, I then entered a whole new territory, a whole new reality where that reality could reflect back a truer version of me. It would reflect back a truer expression of who I am. So every reality that we are living in mirroring back to us is a gift. It is a gift for us to look within. The reality that we are seeing is never ever the problem. Good morning, Anita. Uh, I'm trying to find my energy again. Oops, sorry, there goes the tractor and the lawnmowers. Your energy is never lost, Anita. If you feel you've lost your energy, there's something blocking the flow of the energy. It's all here, it's all within you, and I know you know this. There is something within that is kind of like clogging the pipe. So... Just look within and ask yourself, what is that? What is, what is my blockage? How am I um, pushing down the flow? And usually it's always like with me, if I, don't, if I feel stagnant in energy and feel blocked and 
trapped and just like that paragraph said in my first marriage and being young and, and living in a certain box of religion, my energy wasn't flowing because I put myself into a container that I needed to just open the door and release. I had to step out of that thinking. I had to have courage. I had to have strength. And not that it has to be that extreme for everybody. It could be just a certain thought that we're thinking and we just need to um, work through it and process through it. And as we understand it or as we integrate it, then our energy can flow again. But that paragraph also it had a lot to do with self-acceptance. Like in that paragraph, I was asking to be changed. I was begging and praying to Mother Mary to let me be the wife I thought I should be. Or it's like any of us praying to, trying to fit a part that really isn't in resonance with who we are. So that paragraph had a lot to do with surrendering, but surrendering not necessarily to the circumstance. Surrendering always comes down to surrendering to the heart, surrendering to who you are and what you feel within, not trying to change it, not trying to conform, not trying to live up to other people's expectations of you, whether it be a system, whether it be work, whether it be a relationship, even mother, even as a mother, there's a lot of expectations. And it is tricky as a human to balance the, um, the needs of others, as we all know. But live, being true to ourself, and that's, that's a beautiful, fun game in itself. Being true to oneself, but balancing the care that we do need to um, bring forth to others. And a lot of times it's letting go of old beliefs, obviously, old thought forms, old paradigms. Thinking a mother needs to be a certain way or thinking a wife needs to be a certain way. Thinking you need to be a certain way in your job. Thinking you need to be a certain way as a spiritual guide or expression. It all comes down to tuning in the heart as always. It all comes down to surrendering to self. The truest form of self and it's always found within your heart it's always within your heart and your reality is a gift like I was saying before your reality is a gift we need to take ownership of the creation we are projecting when we don't like something in the outside reality or something is coming forth at us very strongly could seem negative it's still a gift it is a gift to look within and tune into energies that we might not even be fully aware of or conscious those energies on the outside world that we may be feeling that we need to create resistance and push away from, that is the absolute opposite of what we should be doing. We should be embracing them and saying, oh, so I created this situation in this reality. How can I um, expand beyond it, grow from it? It's not about being a victim or a martyr. It's about transcending that and finding the freedom in that. And it all comes down to looking within. When we create a reality we don't like, there are energies that we are focused on that are not in alignment to who we are. Even say a bad marriage or a bad relationship or a bad situation or a bad job. We most likely are living out energies within ourselves that are being projected on the outside that we need to maybe release and a lot of times it could be just energies we need to accept within ourselves because when we can accept the energy and who we are then we can release those circumstances that are not serving us so as long as we hold on to energies within us that are aren't really us we will project and create a reality that mirrors that Situations, circumstances, relationships, just scenarios that are not reflective of us because there's something within ourselves we're not accepting. And when we can accept that and find that and use that mirror as a gift to tune in instead of resist, then we come into a greater um, awareness of who we are. And then that outside situation will dissipate. Everything just um, mirrors and reflects that energy that we are living. So that is today's paragraph. If you feel trapped, if you feel stuck, if you can feel contained, there's just some limiting energies 
that are operating within our psyche, within our self, that just need to kind of move out of us or we need to come to terms or come to an understanding of it and then we can release it. Everything is a beautiful gift that helps us to unwrap self. <laughs> it's getting to the center of the Tootsie Pop and all those little layers don't have to be peels of an onion and make you cry. Those little layers of other things can be little licks of sweetness if we choose to extract that from all situations, including so-called negative or uncomfortable ones. We got to find the sweetness. And when we find the sweetness, we really do get to the core of who we are and we find ourselves because it is sweet. It feels good. It feels liberating and it feels free. So hopefully this might help someone out there. It always helps me. They're always just good reminders. Everything in this book, every paragraph, it's stuff we already know. And a lot of it is the obvious. But sometimes, you know, the things that are obvious fly right over our heads sometimes unless they are expressed in a way that maybe hit home in a little bit different way. A little tweaking of the expression of that knowingness makes all the difference sometimes. All right, guys, have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. And may you shine, shine with the light, all the light that you are. Love you.